Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Well, last time we made it through the Cave of Trials, and now we're here in this final room of the Cave of Trials. Now we're ready to take things on. But there's one thing that I want to do before we leave. And you can see there's a bunch of little items here. We'll be dealing with that here in just a moment. But before dealing with that, there's one more thing I want to do. Now, you notice that we made it out here. Now, if you're here on B7 and we let a siren go, we can get one more enemy here in the Cave of Trials. Let's do that. Yeah, we get the Golden Toad. Okay, this is probably not going to work. So yeah, they turn the party into a toad, attack, and then it retreats. So if you don't get to go first, uh, if you don't get to go first, then that doesn't work. So I'm just going to load a state here real quick. We're going to try that again. So let's try casting a siren again. Hopefully I'll get attacked the right way. Nope. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll try this again here. In just a okay. That'll work. Okay. Now. First thing we want to do is we want to get stop on him. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now he's stopped and we can make this work. Because now we go to uh, Rydia's turn and we get Bahamut going. At least the power of Bahamut on the Golden Toad. The Golden Toad, by the way, has 7,777 HP. I didn't kill it? Yeah. Most of the time, you're going to have to use it twice. By the way, I'll show you. Yeah, it does one damage. Its defense is 255. And it's resistant to most magic attacks, but Bahamut will take it down. So two Bahamuts should do the trick. Okay, I'll turn it past Bahamut. Oh, I could, I could have killed it on one shot. But anyways, there you go. And we got him. Woohoo! Yeah. So they give 65,000 gold and 65,000 experience. Uh, 13,000 for a character. So if you want to grind here uh, using all those sirens that we won earlier, you can certainly do that. I think there's a more uh, effective way to do it, which is uh, to grind, which is either using thunder dragons or another enemy on the moon, which I'll show you later. But if you want to do that here, you certainly can do that. So I just wanted to show you that Golden Toad. So now I'm going to heal up, and now we're going to get ready to go with what we're going to do in this room here. Okay, we're all healed up and ready to go. By the way, didn't notice how we've got Edward's music here? That's kind of cool. I like that. So, okay. So now if you walk around here in this final room here, you'll notice that it looks like there's some different types of items here. It looks like there's a sword, a harp... Yeah, Rod, all kinds of different things that we can go here. So, let's see what happens if we talk to the harp here. Hey, ah, I'm forbidden to enter. Damn it. Yeah, so with this, you can only, you can only talk to the things with the party members that you're gonna be having. Now, if you go up here, okay, inventory is full, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and drop something here. Thunder, fine. Okay, and now as we go over here, this is the first one that we're gonna wanna do on this one here. Uh, with this, looks like there's a pick or something like that. So we talk to it. Hey, it changed to Sid for something. Wonder what's up with that. Whoa! Now it's time for a boss battle against the Death Machine. Okay, so what we want to do here is. Um... Yeah, so what we want to do here is we just basically want to go all out on this guy. So let's get Berserk going. On Cecil. Yeah, this guy can do a lot of damage, so can be kind of dangerous. So just watch for that. So basically, just start going all out. He doesn't have any weaknesses, but basically, just want to go um, level three magic. Go. Nope. Now you want to keep one of your party members on standby. Okay, let's get the Hummet. Baraga. There you go. Good job. This thing has 50,000 HP, by the way. This death machine. Also, it looks like a pretty freaky thing. It's got... Is it a machine? It looks like a machine, but it also could be look like an infected from... Like a robotic infected from The Last of Us. You know, with the tendrils coming out of the mouth? I don't know. Okay, now this thing will probably kill one of our party members. And there you go. Okay, so this is why you want to have Sid on standby and not in berserk mode. Yeah, 
There we go. Very good. Let's get Bahama going. Uh oh. I'm hoping I can get to Porum's turn again. And Porum will have a chance to heal our party. But yeah, this thing isn't too hard. You just want to go all out. Take this thing down. And there you go! Just like that. How fitting is it that Sid got the final blow in his trial? Defeating him, we get Thor's hammer. Excellent. Okay, let's check out this increase in attack power. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, that is a kick ass. Kick ass increase in defense. That's great. Good job, Sid. Good job. Okay, let's heal up and then we'll get ready for the next one. Okay, let's continue. Let's head over here. Hey. Uh, fine. Let's see, what can we drop here? I'm sure we could drop something. Drain, Osmos, and... Ooh, Comet. That actually could be useful. I think I have something useless around here, I'm sure. Um... Do I have anything that's useless? No, because a lot of this stuff is good in increasing attack power. Uh, I guess Osmos is fine. Don't really care about that. It's not really effective in this game, anyway. All right, this appears to be Pollum's Trial. Okay, now we have a boss battle against the Flan Master. Okay, now the strategy for this guy is a little bit different. So first thing we want to do is let's cast Quake. Yeah, because he's going to have Reflex. The first thing that we want to do is we want to get... Uh, where's Haste? I'm sure I saw There it is. Let's get Haste going on Rydia. Let's put our new Thor's hammer to use. Basically what we want to do is we want to try to take out all the flans as quickly as possible. Which is great. By the way, Thor's hammer is pretty cool. Now, he, now he's going to reflect, which is fine. And now with here, we want to get Bahamut going. Yeah, because he's going to regenerate his flans, but that's no big deal. But then, now basically you just want to go all out with Bahamut, Quake, and then physical attacks on the Flyin' Master. Flyin' Master looks like an upgraded version of a Summoner or something like that. And yes, the Flans will regenerate. But, again, it basically wastes a turn. And this thing only has, uh... This... Ooh! Damn. Okay, let's do this down, please. Yeah, this thing is so basically it'll waste a turn with the Flan Master. And it'll bypass. It's gonna kill Cecil again. Okay, no. Phew. Okay, let's get Kiraga going on. Cecil. Right here. All right, then basically we just go all out. Take this thing down. There you go. It'll regenerate. Fine. Yeah, again, as long as you have Quake and Bahamut going, you should be good to go. Just like that, we got him. No problems there. And then we get the Triton's Dagger. Very good. Now, um, you want to double check your bestiary here to make sure that you got him. Uh, I've been told that there's a thing. Okay, we got Flymaster. Yeah, so I've been told that uh, sometimes he doesn't show up in your bestiary if you get it. And if that happens, just reload your save state and try again. But, okay, and we got that one. Let's get that. Yeah. Short sword with the power of water. Good increase in attack power. I like it. Okay, let's heal up and then we'll go do another one. Okay, very good. And one more we want to do. We want to head up here. Hey, uh, fine. 
Uh, let's drop the egg and drain. Don't really care about that. Okay. All right. So we got poems. Might as well do poems. Now it's time for a boss battle against the Tyrannosaurus. Okay. Now, first thing we want to do... Okay, let's see. We want to get... Quake going. Oh, shit. Okay, and now we're ready to go. Now, before doing the next the next one, the first thing we want to do is we want to cast Float, because we're going to need it for this next one. So let's head up this way, and now we want to start by going up to this northern platform, because there's these bottom two. We can't quite get them just yet. Sure, show you, if you go over here. The Vine of a Monk, eh? All right, no problem. And we go up here. Damn it. Uh, okay, what can we drop here? Uh, Berserk haste. That could actually be. These could actually be useful. Uh, silence. Yeah, let's drop that. All right, sounds good. We did polyms. Now might as well do porums. It's time for a boss battle against the Tyrannosaurus. Okay, let's go all out. Now, uh, what we want to do here. Now, um. Instead of using level 3 elemental spells, you don't want to do those because it will counterattack. So we want to go ahead and use Quake. Yeah, so this is why you wanted to cast Float, because it does have... Uh, he will use this upgraded version of the Bone Dragon. Will use uh, Earthquake on your party, so you don't want to do that. Okay, so let's get Berserk going on Cecil. Basically, now we want to go all out on this thing. Go. Good shot. Very good. And let's get Bahamut going. And Quake. And now let's get Berserk going on Sid. And then basically, Porm's gonna heal every round, and then this, we're just gonna rinse, lather, repeat until this thing is dead. This thing has 60,000 HP. So once you got your good setup going, he's not too hard. Yep. Yeah, he'll waste some turns casting Earthquake. And his physical attacks actually don't hit too hard. Now it's just cure Aja every round, and those good as your pencil, rinse, lather, and repeat until this guy's dead. I gotta tell you, I love this new aspect of the Cave of Trials and kind of upgrading your characters because in the original version of this game, uh, after you, basically once a character is gone, or the, I should say in the translation, once a character is gone from your party and you don't have them in the final party, they're basically useless for the rest of the game. So this kind of builds on what happened in Final Fantasy V and Final Fantasy VI, where you can, or Final Fantasy VI really, where you can swap out party members and use whatever party you want, which is kind of cool. I kind of like that. And I like how they did that with this game, because I remember thinking, like, man, Paul and Porum are such great characters. Well, I mean, Porum kind of becomes useless because you get another white mage with Rosa, but, uh, but anyways, there you go. For defeating him, we get the Seraphim's Mace. Excellent. Very, very good. And now, yeah, good increase in attack power, staff with the power of healing, that's great. Okay, excellent. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to make a backup save just in case, and then we're going to do what I want to do next. So give me just a second here. Okay, so we're done with everything right now in the Cave of Trials, because there's still two more things we need to get. And if we want to get the last two weapons here in this, unfortunately, we need to bring the other two party members who have them or that we need to bring him out of here. So, let's go ahead and warp out of the dungeon. And that'll get us out of here. Basically casting into a free emergency exit. And it gets us here to the front of Mount Ordeals. Now, can I teleport out of Mount Ordeals? No, I can't. I have to walk, unfortunately. So I may run into some random battles. But, oh, I did. Okay, great. Excellent. And now let's go ahead and head back to Mycidia. The Lunar Whale. And 
And let's go ahead and rest up real quick. Let's do that. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now, I'll show you this here in a minute. I could have used a cottage up there, but why use a cottage up there when I can get an in-stay for free right here? Okay, so now we want to go ahead and drop off a few things here that I'm not going to be needing. Uh, just look at them, just realizing. Okay, Gaia Hammer, don't need that anymore because we've got Sid's most powerful weapon there. And yeah, Vampire Bane Dream will drop that off. Ooh, the Mage Master actually does more damage. I might hang on to that. Uh, let's see. What else? R Staff, don't need that. Keep those. A uh, Diamond Helm. I'm going to hang on to the Helms just for now. In case I need to swap things out. Uh, ice Armor. Yeah, that'll be more powerful. Let's drop the Ice Armor off. Luminous Robe. Ooh, that could be more. That could be better for... Radio. Let's go ahead and encrypt. Let's get that on her, the luminous robe. And then we'll drop off the. Well, actually, you know, that should probably be enough. Let's see. 44. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay. And if it isn't, then I'll come back. Okay. So, what we want to do now is let's go ahead and head into Missidia. And let's swap out our two party members for the next two that we need to complete the Cave of Trials. It's almost like a cloister of trials if just that room, now that we've gone through the whole cave. Okay, so now let's swap out our party members. Alright, so what we want to do now is we need to get our last two. So let's go ahead and swap out Edward for uh, Palum and Yang for Sid. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, Sid's got some kick-ass. There's... Yang's got some kick-ass stuff, so let's rock and roll here. Okay, so now let's get uh, Yang all optimized here. Yeah, so you can see, you know, he, can equip, he can equip the Brave Suit, Black Belt Geem, not so worried about. Let's optimize his stuff. Ooh, that's not too good. I don't, I'm going to have to get him some, uh, an armlet there. Okay, Polymer good. Let's get Edward optimized. Yeah, so he gave him a red cap and a red jacket, so that's good. Okay, so I need to get some defense things going with them. Okay, let's see. Anything else we need to do here? I think we're good with the rest of it. Can they use diamond armlets? Oh, yes, they can. Okay, great. Let me see if Edward can use a diamond armlet. Yes, he can. Okay, great. So I need to go pick up some diamond armlets. Okay, cool. So now we got our last two party members, and I'm going to go ahead and keep Porum. Uh, you could use either Porum or Rosa, it doesn't matter, but you definitely want a white mage for what we're going to do next. And I'm going to go ahead and use Porum, and you'll see why here in just a little bit. All right, let's get back on the Lunar Whale. And I actually need to heal up, this is crazy. Okay, now let's drop off a lot of the stuff that we're not going to be needing. So like Black Robe, don't need that. Black Belt Gi, don't need that. Diamond Armor, don't need that. Black Cowl... I'm dropping off all this stuff. Ooh, Sage's Miter. Nah. Diamond Helm. Nah. Yeah, I'm just going to drop off a bunch of stuff here. Okay, cool. Great. Okay, now we need to go pick up some armlets for uh, Yang and for Edward. So again, best place to do that. We'll head, if you can't remember from last episode. Here... Back this way. We're going to head over to Tamra. I probably have diamond armlets in the... Sitting in the... Great... Or in the fat chocobo, but I don't really care. Okay. Move it. Okay. You're going to make me go... Okay, it's literally blocking the entrance. Fortunately, I can take the shortcut. There we go. Get back here! really do not want me to have equipment there. Alright, let's buy two of those. Get that on Yang. Get that on Edward. There we go. Very, very, very good. Okay, now I need to go get some claws for Yang, actually. I just realized I need to do that, too. So, okay, what I'm going to do is uh, head back to the Lunar Whale, uh, grab some stuff, some claws for Yang, and then uh, I'll do that real fast. And then I will meet you at the bottom of Mount Ordeals. Uh, and you remember how to get there. So just, uh, and I'll show you the claws I got from the Fat Chocobo. 
Okay, here we are back at here we are back at Mount Ordeals, and that can happen occasionally, running into these enemies there. So I'm just gonna run from them because I don't care. All right, and now we are back in the Cave of Trials. Now, unfortunately, we have to make our way back to the Cave of Trials a second time uh, with our new party members. So what I'm pretty much gonna do is I'm just gonna run from every battle. Uh, be sure to cast Float on each floor. And the path is pretty linear to the end. So again, I'm just gonna make my way back to the boss area. We've gotten all the treasure. We've gotten all the treasure that uh, I'm gonna need here in this area. Uh, there is one random encounter that I haven't been able to get. So if I'm able to get it, great, I'll show it off. But if not, I'm pretty much just gonna run all the way to the end. So, all right, so I'm gonna take care of that real quick. Oh, let's reestablish float in case I run into the Arachne. So basically, I'm just gonna go through this and make my way through the Cave of Trials. Again, it's pretty linear. If you can't quite remember how to go, how to get there, just see my previous, well, I guess I'll show it. I'll walk it, because it's not too far. I believe it's down this way. Oh, did I screw this up? Oh, whoops. That can happen too. Oh, there it is. Okay. How silly of me. I was like, I'm sure. It was, I knew it was like blatantly obvious, but yeah, sometimes you can get lost in this area. For the most part, the cave is, the pathway is pretty linear. See, I'm already on B6. Yeah, it's, it's all the hidden areas is where I kind of tripped you up. That going up to here. Yeah, this way and up to here. Okay, let's see if it shows the enemy that I want to. Nope. Alright, and there's the seven. Let's see if it does the enemy I want it to. All right, hey, there it is. There's the, th there's the enemy I wanted it to do, the Thunder Dragon. Yeah, this thing can hit pretty hard if you're not careful. Uh, so let's Kiraja. Yeah, good shot, Yang. By the way, I gave him the uh, Fairy Claws and the Cat Claws, so I can sometimes cast Poison and Sleep. So let's go all out. We want to take down this thing. Yeah, I, I always forgot how useless uh, Edward was. Until you have to use him later in the game. There you go. No problems there. And we got... Ooh, a gold hourglass. I don't think I've gotten one of those yet. Oh, a long period of time. Oh, cool. All right. Okay. And very good. Okay, I will rest up, and then we'll do these last two cloister of here in the cloister of trials. Okay, now we're gonna start by heading over here to the bottom right here to this claw. Guess who gets to use it? Uh huh. Now it's time for a boss battle against the storm dragon. Okay, now this thing can hit pretty hard. So, what we want to do here is no matter what. You want to use Kiraja the entire time. Cecil and attack a uh, Yang attack normally. And, uh, there you go. This thing can hit pretty hard. And we want to use Blizzaga or Sylph. Either or is fine. Edward, unfortunately, is pretty useless in this battle. This thing, by the way, has 40,000 HP. He's weak to ice uh, and he absorbs fire. There you go. Good shot. Okay. Now here's why you want to be careful. Whirlwind sucks. Ow! Woo. That attack is not fun. And when that happens, and Edward will automatically hide because he's an idiot. When that happens, uh, we want to get Sylph going. Stop it. I probably could use Blizzard, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, Edward's hiding. That's right. Yeah, 
Yeah, so you can steal some HP. So this is another alternative. So yeah, it doesn't deal a ton of damage, but it can get some HP back in a pinch. Oh, here's another thing you want to be careful of. Tornado. Oh, it missed. Nice. All right, you may come back, Edward. Let's get the healing going. Ugh. Fine, you know what? Hide. I don't even care at this point. Oh, Maelstrom. Crap. Yeah, that's Tornado. Yeah, that's Tornado on your entire party. Get Kiraja, please. There you go. Actually, in some ways, Edward hiding isn't a bad thing. Okay, we got him. Woo! Add a level for Rydia and a level for Cecil, and we get the God Hand, the ultimate weapon for Yang. Nice. All right, let's get that on him right away. Yeah, Claws immersed in holy power. Yeah, Confuse will keep that. But definitely get the God Hand going on him. Excellent. Okay, let's definitely rest up on that one before we get to do one more. Okay, one more to go. It's the harp. Let's go do it. I, do we have to? Because Edward kind of sucks. Fine. Now it's time for a boss battle against the Gigas Worm. All right, let's go. Now, Edward, once again, is kind of useless in this battle. Oops. All right, so first thing we want to do is let's get Berserk going on... Let's see. that going and then off. Now one round I'm gonna need to use Sylph. So we need some HP. There you go, good shot Yang. Now, unfortunately he does counter attack often which is annoying. Basically this is go just go all out on this thing. This thing is 55,000 HP and it's kind of a kill or be killed kind of thing. Ow! Stop it. Pretty much counterattacks every single round, which is annoying. Garage are going. You know what? A bot. And I just realized on Cecil, a Bacchus wine might not be a bad thing for him to use. Bahamut. Do you have. Let's use Bacchus wine. Yeah, they basically just go all out. Yep. Shot. Ow. See, sometimes I say the best defense is a good offense. Part of me not part, part of me wants to not even attack with Edward because he does so little damage. Uh, in fact, and fine. Ow! Yeah, attacking with Edward in some ways is not even worth it. Because he does so little damage. In fact, just get out of here. Yeah, Edward is just... Ugh. And Sal basically gets extra items out of... Or extra use out of items, but I don't really want to do that. Eh, we got him. No problems there. Defeating him, we get Apollo's Harp, the excellent, the, the most ultimate weapon for Edward. So let's get that on him right away. Ooh, it's actually a decent weapon. Uh, and now for Rydia, we can go ahead and get the Mage Masher on her, which is kind of cool. And that's it. And that is everything that we can do in the Cave of Trials. I've gotten all my bestiary entries. 
I am, uh, I've gotten everything we need to do there. So basically, I can just step on this tile, warp out of here, walk to the bottom of Mount Ordeals, and we can continue with the story. But what will we do now that we are done with the Cave of Trials? Is there anything else we need to do before going and doing the last part of the game? You'll have to wait the next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash BCS Buster. Check out all the ways you can support the channel in the video description below. Not only do you using those promo codes help save you money, but they help me grow the channel as well. And until the next time we meet, take care, y'all. Good stuff, everybody. Good stuff.